assalamu alaikum dear students uh, in this third lecture we are starting parts of speech and first of all we will discuss second part of speech that is verb in this lecture you will learn new definition of verb and uh, from uh, school life you uh, you are studying that old definition so today you are going to learn new definition so let's see the definition verb is a word or combination of words that indicates any action so here i have underlined the word action so let's see what is the action words uh, play drink eat uh, these are the list of action words in which the, uh, it is clearly showing that something happening like play so uh, what will you understand by word play that uh, someone is playing uh, uh my child is playing with uh, uh, uh toys uh he is drinking milk so uh, if we talk about drinking or drink so it is clearly showing that any action is going on anyone is drinking something but what we call these uh, one thing i want to clear here that these words are also verbs is am are verb was but if i uh, see the word is so uh, there is nothing happening here but why these are the part of the word verbs and in definition we are only talking about the action so these are the non action words these words are known as linking verbs for example he is eating lunch so uh, here i am using is and uh, what is before the is that is he so he is connecting with the eating means what is uh, one person is doing uh, here we are showing with the linking verb take another example that amat is eating lunch so amat what the amat is doing amat Uh, is eating something is eating so amat and eating uh, is linked by the word is so these are the linking words um, but here uh, these words are not showing any action but it's a part of the verb but in definition we only discuss that uh, a verb is a word or the combination of words words that indicates any action so let's see here the new definition of verb verb is a word or combination of words that indicates action or non action both don't forget here don't forget this point here that action and non action both means that action that is play drink eat running playing and non action is am um, are was were have had types of verbs regular verbs irregular verbs auxiliary and auxiliary are also known as modal verb transitive verbs in transitive verbs main verbs so here we will only discuss regular verbs and irregular verbs and modal verbs we will discuss uh, separately in lectures regular verbs the verb having same second and third form means that the word having the same second and third form we call this regular verb for example play change by so what will be the second and third form of the play that is played we all know uh, p l a y e d third form uh, is the same with the same spelling change what is the what is the second and third changed uh, we will put d at the end by second and third is bought irregular verb the verb having different second and third form means uh, here we are discussing that verbs that having second and third form completely different and this definition is completely opposite of the regular verb definition so here takes the example uh, example is eat so what is the second form of eat obviously we know uh, ate and third form eaten so both are the different with different spelling different pronunciation go went gone forgive forgive forgiven so here we have noticed that uh, having the second and third form different is uh, uh, included in the irregular verb then it's a turn of the practice exercise and this exercise uh, uh, first of all you will done this uh, if you have listened properly the lecture of present indefinite past indefinite you can definitely do this as well so maria and john fight and fight it with each 
other last week other is missing here so uh, in the bracket you have given the choices that you have to choose which word is uh, suitable in this sentence so mary and john uh, fight or fight it with each other last week so this sentence is giving the sense of uh, and any action that is happened in the past so uh, be clear with the definition of the present indefinite and past indefinite first of all you have to identify that either this uh, this sentence make the sense of present indefinite or past indefinite so if this is a present indefinite you have to choose uh, first form if this uh, if this is giving the second form so it may be the past indefinite and you also know the rules of the past indefinite activity Uh, find out more verbs and categorize them into regular and irregular verbs. At least thirty. Write the second and third form. Uh, let me tell you what you have to do. You have to uh, find out the verbs and you have to write the second and third form. Uh, but fifteen verbs should be regular and other fifteen should be irregular. So you have to make the heading of the regular verbs and write the fifteen verbs with the second and third form. And after that, you have to write irregular verbs and with the second and third form. This is a very simple activity, and you have to do, and it will definitely increase your knowledge and strong your grammar as well. So I, I hope you have understand this today's lecture. Uh, we have started past of speech. and uh, we have done with the second part of speech that is verb uh, we uh, everybody knew this that uh, verb is the action is any action but at the end of this lecture we know that a verb is not only the action it is also the act, it is also the known action that is is am are and which is also called the linking verbs so if there is any query feel free to ask thank you keep learning